Hello, this is Bill Soto, and I would like to welcome you to SORCOM University webinars. We'd like to start by going over Module 1, SORCOM Network Topology. When you're looking at an IP telephony implementation, there are three core elements that comprise any IP telephony implementation, and that would be this, the uh, IP PBX itself. In this case, we're using a SORCOM IP three, uh, XR3000 as a PBX a data switch and a router. Now the acronyms below data switch, uh, QOS, stands for quality of service and this is a protocol that is used in the data switch to manage voice packets on your data network to ensure that you have always have very good call quality. The other uh, acronym, POE, stands for power over ethernet. Uh, this is uh, also part of the data switch's function in order to provide electricity or power to the IP telephones that will reside on the network. The router with quality of service uh, would come into play in the case that you're using voice over IP service or what's commonly called SIP trunking or session initiation protocol trunking and that is for talking over the internet. Now these three core elements uh, I would recommend you also place them on a battery backup so if you have any type of a electrical power outage it doesn't interfere with your telephone calls. Now the router connects to the internet and it does its job uh, in providing internet access to the computers in the network. The telephone system connects to the telephone uh, service provider through the public switch telephone network or the PSTN and connects for either analog telephone lines or T1 or E1 uh, if you're outside of the United States of America. Now there's another acronym in that cloud. It says ITSP, or Internet Telephony Service Provider. Well, the ISP has now uh, installed equipment in their head office, so this way they can talk over the broadband service they're giving, and now that makes them an ITSP. This is a new generation of telephone provider out there in, in the world today. So the voice over IP provider would provide telephone calls going actually through the internet I would never touch those analog or T1 lines that are connected to the uh, standard telephone system. Now it is very uh, common to see customers today with both voice over IP service as well as standard telephone service. Uh, there are benefits to each one. We then want to extend that technology out to the data network. So uh, you would run your CAT5 or your CAT6 data wiring and you would connect an IP telephone and behind the IP phone you can connect a computer. Now most IP telephones, not all of them, but most of them, have two data ports uh, inside the phone. So the phone actually connects to the jack that's in the wall uh, rather than a computer and then the computer plugs in behind the phone. This way you can actually have two logical devices on one cable. You can also connect computers directly to the jack as well. Now many companies still have a standard uh, telephone wiring, what's known as CAT3 or skinny, skinny wire, in your office, and that's used for analog devices such as a fax machine or maybe an analog phone or an analog cordless phone. The SORCOM uh, does have ports that can connect directly to these devices, make it very simple to uh, utilize uh, existing equipment or analog equipment. We also support uh, remote IP telephony, such as soft phones on laptops, as well as remote IP telephones. Now these phones would uh, connect, or what we, as we say it, register to the actual PBX uh, through the internet, through the router, and then will become part of the phone system. So uh, for all intents and purposes, the remote employees look, act, and feel as if they're under your same office roof, but in essence they could be anywhere in the world. Well, this basically completes the module one. It's just going over the network topology so you have an understanding of exactly how an IP telephony a network topology looks like. Thank you, and I'll finish this up, and we'll look at module two. Take care.